What is up guys and good morning. We are getting a nice early start on things today. Allie is doing some revisions. So I know in one of our previous videos, we said that our plans got approved for the additions, but really it was just the engineering department that approved them. And then like three other departments basically failed our, our plans. So we've uh, went ahead and got all the revised stuff together. Ali is uh, inputting a bunch of it into the computer and getting those plans sent off. Do you think we're gonna pass this time? Yeah, we're gonna pass this time. I think uh, I think this time we're gonna pass, or at least this time maybe we'll have like one or two small things that need to be fixed and then we'll be able to pass after that. However, in the next video, our trusses should be getting delivered. There's gonna be a slew of problems and it's gonna be an absolute mess, I guarantee it, but they should be getting attempted to be delivered tomorrow. You. Oh, how are you? Good morning. Are you a happy boy? Are you a happy boy? Yeah, exactly. I don't know if that like screeching and screaming is him trying to talk or if he's just like screaming and screeching, but I like to pretend that he's like trying to form words. Allie's gonna do a little bit of cleaning. We're gonna replace all the faucets. We're getting Terry into sales shape today. And then basically the only thing that needs to happen is the cushions need to be replaced and she'll be ready for sale. All right, bathroom faucet, a water filtration faucet, new soap dispenser, new kitchen faucet, it's a shower faucet. I think we've got everything we need. All right, let's uh, assess the situation in here. Oh, the gloves are right here. Ta-da! Perfect. Okay, first order of business, Maybe last order of business is I have to clean out the freezer. So Allie's cleaning out the freezer very first. <laughs> we do have a couple of repairs. I've got all the new faucets that I just showed you guys. We're gonna throw all the old faucets away, change the soap dispenser, get all the shower and all the new faucets installed. Allie's gonna clean out the fridge. It's gonna be a fun, fun time. Go team! And break! <laughs> Done. Fridge, done. We're gonna clean all the baseboards, the walls, give everything a nice good scrubbing and make sure that this puppy is sparkling clean. But first, I do have to replace all these faucets. <laughs> they were gonna say, but first I do need some chocolate covered almonds. <laughs> I mean that too. <laughs> it literally took me like 10 minutes to take everything out. So it should probably take like 15 minutes to install all this stuff. All the holes are drilled, all the connections are there. I just gotta kind of like assemble it like Legos. And hopefully I'm not jinxing myself, but this should go pretty quick. I thought you were gonna say the best part is that we took everything out so that everything can be extremely thoroughly cleaned, which is always, for Allie's me, job. the best, most satisfying part of it all. Allie is literally the best cleaner and oh. the best painter oh. that ever was. <laughs> I agree with the cleaning. That's all I have you to say. You painted this whole thing. Yeah, it turned you out good. You painted basically everything yeah. in here. Yeah. I did some of the masking. Yeah. And you basically painted everything. I'm better at cleaning than painting, I will say that. <laughs> it's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> We've gotta cut back on special effects, so I'm doing all the cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's spit nuts everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I'm really curious because like, I absolutely love all the like flat black faucets and fixtures and handles and all that stuff. And I just like, am curious because like, I know in the seventies people were like, dude, look at my green sink. This is so sick. Like, oh my gosh. And like, I have an orange toilet and you're like, that's so cool. And like, I can't imagine in like 30, 40 years, people looking back and being like, dude, do you remember in the late 2000 teens when everybody was using black faucets? Like how disgusting. You know what I mean? Yeah, is that gonna true. happen? Is it gonna age well or not? Yeah, is it? I don't know, I feel like black is a classic color, but. Yeah, you can't, we'll see. you can't knock flat black. But also like everything that goes out of style eventually comes back into style. Like bell bottoms are back in style now. No, they're know? not. No, they're not. No, it's all, 
it was high rise jeans and now low rise jeans are coming back. See, everything just goes in and out. It's a cycle. It's recycling. It's re reduce, reuse, recycle. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I bought the exact same everything except for the faucet. Oh. The faucet that was in here, uh, we didn't really like and I don't think it worked that well. And this faucet, we do like and we have used. And just by looking at it from here to there, kind of looks like the holes are a different size. Really? I'm really hoping that they're not. I think you... We're about to find out. Okay. Just let me unscrew 75 more rings of this thing. So we... It looks like it's definitely not gonna fit. Really? Like 100%. 100%? Oh, that won't even go in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gosh. Oh! <laughs> wow. That was, that was a little scary. That worked perfectly. What do we want that? We want that like that. Um, you can't do that. No. Yeah, yeah, like that. Like this? Yeah. All right. Faucet is done. We can't really uh, test it out until I get everything connected because I can't turn on the water because there's open lines everywhere. But now we are on to the water filtration faucet. And uh... Okay, there we go. Nice. That one was a little quicker than the last one. That looks good. Now I just gotta do the soap dispenser and then on to the bathroom. All of those are completely replaced, finished, brand new, and we can move on to the bathroom. I feel like it is a good idea to just clean around oh, look the at holes you. in the countertop so that it's nice, clean Am installation. Am I uh, rubbing off on you or something? Rubbing no! off. No! Get it, huh? <laughs> Gross. We're ready to assist you with anything you need. Aww. How are you with trusses? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one little set screw which is actually going to hold this onto the wall with this little mounting bracket over here and we have our brand new flat black sink and look at how dirty it is in here it's not a sink anyways it's a shower mixer but uh we got the shower installed i'm just going to install this set screw and then we can turn the water on and start testing things and hopefully it's uneventful all right so we finished putting in the shower mixer, we got the bathroom faucet, we got all these faucets put in. I'm fairly confident that everything is tight and there shouldn't be any leaks. Huh. Uh, we went ahead and filled up the water tank underneath outside, so now all we need to do is turn on the water pump and we'll see if there's any leaks. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds exciting. Here, Leo, do you want to do it? <gasps> yeah, Leo. Oh, here, right here, right here. Push the water pump, are you ready? He's <laughs> not ready. Ugh. You did it! All right, oh, I hear water. Shoot. Turn it off! What the freak? We can go outside. What the freak? Go, go, go. Oh, man. Oh, no. What the heck? Are you smiling? Oh yeah. Are you smiling? Yeah, she'll <laughs> that too. <laughs> One spot that it's leaking was like down here by the accumulator. <laughs> which is not good. Oh. Okay, so we tested the system and immediately found a couple small leaks that we do not want to get bigger. 
So we uh, turned it back off and now Trent and Brandon are disassembling everything below the kitchen sink to figure out where these leaks are coming from and uh, maybe if we can just tighten the fittings or if they all need to be replaced. We're in diagnostic mode still. Take two. Chance. That's not gonna leak this time. All right. Let's have you push the pump button. Yeah, Leo. You've <laughs> been demoted. <laughs> you tried, but you didn't do a good job. <laughs> And again. Where's it coming from? What are you doing? Hi. Oh, great. Right. I need the shot back again. All right, the tenth time is the charm. Hopefully, I'm sweating. It's hot. It's. I'm just sick of working underneath the sink. But the issue is, when things froze and broke, you don't really know everything that froze and broke. So. We're trying to figure out all the things that broke, and I think we've I think we've narrowed it down. Please. Is that a good noise? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Oh, I hear water pissing underneath. New fittings for the bottom of this faucet, like kind of tighten down, like you think they're good, mm -hmm. and then they need like a handful more turns. Mm. Which is not normal. Take 11. I think I've tightened down everything. Oh, the pump is still on. Oh, good. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Houston? We've got a problem. We do? No. I mean, yeah, we do. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, nothing is leaking anymore. There's supposed to be like one nice continuous stream of water instead of like spurts of water. Maybe we're just like bleeding out the lines. Maybe it's gonna sort itself out. We'll see. The only thing I can think is that there's air in like all the water lines. You wanna look under? Oh. No, it's just bleeding air out of the system. Okay. And anywhere that there's air, it's creating like uh, the air is compressing instead of water compressing. Mm -hmm. So it's just gonna take a minute. There's some weird noises going on in here. Back to weird spurts. All right, so I'm suspecting that the water pump might have froze, which mm. maybe it's causing it to be, to operate subpar, not create a lot of pressure, not run at its full potential. So we're gonna connect the uh, city water to the hookup spot and see if like the pressure from the yard hydrant will pressurize the lines and make everything work. We can test for leaks, make sure everything is good. If that's the problem, we just need to replace the water pump. Okay, cool. We need to fire this up. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you cleaning? Are you mommy's little cleaning buddy? <laughs> Thank you. You doing it? Yeah. Uh huh. There's good news and there's bad news, Leo. The good news is we have to change the water pump. The bad news is we've got to order it and wait for it to show up. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal right now, but <laughs> it's a little bit annoying. Allie's gonna step back in and start crushing it with the cleaning. As soon as the new water pump shows up, it'll literally take me five minutes to change that. And then Terry will be back to new. You see this? My cleaning muscles. <laughs> they are huge. <laughs> this is clean. Yeah, this is clean. <laughs> cold hand 
frozen feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory, a faded piece of history. No one can remember all the fun. The late night barbecue, zipping on a genie juice. on Terry and getting everything fixed up and getting her ready for sale. I just came and sat down on this bed and it just reminds me of how amazing this Helix mattress is. And today's video is actually sponsored by Helix. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs and preferences with a short online quiz that matches you with the perfect firmness for your body and offers a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So we've actually had a Helix mattress in Terry for multiple years. In fact, we even gave my grandma and grandpa a mattress from Helix and they absolutely love it. The best part is Helix delivers right to your door and is super easy to set up. Our grandparents have been using the Twilight and my parents love their Dawn Lux. Their back aches are totally gone with Helix mattresses targeted zoned lumbar support to help with spine alignment and back pressure relief. Now Helix doesn't just make amazing mattresses. They also make pillows. They even make weighted blankets which Allie and I just got and I cannot wait to try it. I've heard a lot of people talk about how weighted blankets are like amazing and you sleep really well and I'm gonna be using one soon and we'll fill you guys in. If you guys are interested in getting a new mattress or you're in the market, we highly recommend Helix. And if you click the link in our description, you guys will actually get $200 off your first mattress plus two free pillows. So thanks again to Helix for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna get back to work kind of preening up Terry and getting her ready for sale. Let's get to work. All right, we got maybe half the trailer cleaned. Brandon and I went to work while Trent watched Leo. We got pretty much 85% of it wiped down. It is hot out there though, so we're gonna just take a breather inside for a few minutes. Can you show everybody how you climb up? Oh, how do you climb up? You did it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Whoa. All right, after some death-defying climber moves, Leo has successfully worn himself out and he's taking a nice little nap. And while we're taking a break from uh, just like kind of the headaches of Terry, Trent is excited to be getting a little bit of progress done on uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer over here. So this window was actually broken through when we got it and Trent ordered a replacement because even if we can't actually rebuild it for another few months, we would like for it to be like watertight and snow tight. Squirrel There's tight. squirrel tight. There's just been like a plastic bag in the window for the last month. Lika, this car is not for you. Get out of there. Get out of there. She can come on some trips. Yeah? The car is for her? Yeah. Okay. She's a good girl. <laughs> is that a subwoofer? What is that? Or just a speaker? Whoa. Do you have gloves? No. Do you ever want gloves? I like to live dangerously. How many windows have you replaced before? Uh, zero. Zero? Cool. Brandon? Zero. Zero, nice. This is gonna be easy. I looked up a tutorial on how to remove the door. Oh. Not how to install the window? Not how to 
Install the window. Go out of there. <laughs> I think this is my car. <laughs> Oh, what was that? Tearing the guts out of this. Inner door track. <laughs> okay. Yes! Alright, alright. Oh no, we put it in backwards. What? No. It's funny. Yeah. Oh, Trent. Just kidding. <laughs> it even matches the truck. It's red. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, because it's not normally the case, but there are a thousand flies landing on us. And the only reason I can think of is because we stink after working on Terry. They are, they are, they are nowhere other than on us, and it is so annoying. All right, let's give her a test. Ready? Uh, Turn the key yeah. forward, yeah. Trent! Looking good, my friend. I got him! <laughs> okay, I gotta put the stuff back. That's pretty here. good. Cool. I feel like we're having a lot more success replacing <laughs> this window than we are trying to get everything ready in Terry. Last piece here. window fits and it's in and now I don't have to worry about this bag blowing away and it raining <laughs> inside and being all super gross. Yeah, that was the window before. Cool. Good job, dude. The thing that stinks is that uh, this window was totally fine in the accident. Yeah. It's that someone broke this window trying to break in and take stuff out of the truck like when it was in the impound lot. But it was, oh, there we go. She awakens. I don't think it's that you actually are a better auto mechanic than RV repairman. I think you just really enjoy auto mechanics more than being an RV repairman. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's highly accurate. <laughs> He's just going for it. We fixed the window and Trent's just like not stopping there. There's things that need to be done, you know? I yeah. mean, I'm gonna work on this probably through the winter, but while we're out here, yeah, while we, got we're the out window, here. we got the window replaced and then this fender is you know, the source of most of the problems. So I'm just gonna like... See yeah. what's under? I'm gonna start removing some stuff here. And oh my gosh. See what I can get to the bottom of. If you didn't watch the first video a while back, we got this old truck. It doesn't run. It's been in an accident. It's totally totaled. And Trent is going to completely uh, tear it apart and build a rock crawler for himself. He really enjoys, and we all really enjoy, um, going out and doing some rock crawling and off-roading. This is going to be the dedicated vehicle for that, which is a really fun side project for Trent. Something that, like he said, he'll do over the course of many months. Um, and, I can do it with Joel. and with Joel, and maybe one day with Leo. This is a long-term project. Uh, but for right now, when it was totaled in the original accident, the front fender got completely smushed. The whole front everything. Everything is smushed, yeah. This fender well inside <laughs> here is supposed to be like a big rainbow and it's like a an A shape. <laughs> I basically need to like hook this on to like a winch and like like just kind of straighten everything out but you don't want to use my muscles? We could try. <laughs> I'm always willing to try. <laughs> One of my favorite types of fixing things is things that can be fixed with a hammer <laughs> and that's like uh, I think most of this oh, oh, hey. has been that was easy. Unbolted. Oh my gosh. Trent, you need gloves, bro. Probably. 
Yeah. Whoa! No, that's not where that lives. It goes in the tailgate. And that is where you shall stay. <laughs> Just kidding. kind of straight and I can put a headlight in there and then I'll just be building like a tube front bumper on there anyhow. When you say big tires, what do you mean big? Big. You're going to enter this in next year's Monster Jam? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. That would be awesome. Uh, uh, Alright, well, we didn't make too much progress. We did make some, we got it sealed up with the new window and we got the you know broken fender removed and I hit it a few times with a hammer. <laughs> I'm happy. We're gonna be working on this probably throughout the next year. Hopefully next spring, this will be ready for Moab, but I think this is probably where we're gonna call it a day. Leo's officially bummed he missed out on auto mechanic class. You'll be there next time, Leo, don't worry. <laughs> it's uh, That was just the assessment. And uh, the assessment was good. Got the fender taken off, got the window replaced. I tried to beat some stuff into shape. It didn't really happen, but at least I got a good idea of what needs to happen now as soon as we get a part of the garage built where I can pull it in and start working on it. Anyway, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering when we're gonna start working on the garage again, and if we haven't made it clear, the trusses will be delivered in the next video and then we will be back to working on the garage. Yeah. Right now, we're either waiting on trusses or our additions to like the plans for our additions to be approved. Approved. And so we sent off some stuff this morning. Hopefully it'll be approved soon. We can start excavating and putting in the new concrete. We also are gonna have trusses in the next episode where we can start framing again. Big moves. Big moves. And uh, hopefully we never have to work on Terry again because I'm very upset with her. <laughs> She's doing great. She's just, it's karma because we- We neglected we her. We neglected her, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you guys did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios. Bye bye.